the paint plane and we lived and there was a dome over the top this would have to be created it could not be a random big bang spinning ball in in space thing okay you you admit that then the spinning ball compared to a flat plane with a dome there's a definite difference this had to be created by somebody something some civilization right so if we were created then we're special and we were placed in here and we are not animals we are not evolved from monkeys or even amoebas but that's what they want us to believe so if we don't have any power if we don't know that we are spiritual beings and have a, a, a beautiful purpose no we don't no we don't because they because they make cages and put us in it they try to but i feel like a no lot of people... for even having a plant they put us marijuana. If you have a marijuana plant, well, they put making you moves, in prison. Making moves with marijuana. No, that never should have been made illegal. They did that on purpose. No, they did. Yeah, that. that and was, you know who did that? I don't know. One the paper one. industry, because hemp can be used for a lot of stuff. I know. Okay, and the the guys, the rich guys, they wanted to make more money and strip us of all of our rights, and and they made hemp illegal and they put marijuana in there and did you know what else there's a lot of like thc that can help with uh memory problems yeah. i want that for my mother i have not gonna have to move to uh massachusetts to get it now it's, it's medical yeah, you can have it here medically. no it you know what qualifications it takes to get medical marijuana i have someone in my family who has it. you have to go through hell to get it and my mother just has a memory problem she's physically fine so I want to get it, but no. And it's a freaking plant. It's our right to have that. It's our right. And they are just making money off of the suffering of people. It's all about money. Okay, so they're making money off of our suffering. Do you feel like the same way kind of about like hallucinogenics, like mushrooms? And- I think anybody should do what they want to do. If, they get in a, if they're hallucinating, get in a car and drive and hurt somebody, then they should be punished. What about like harder drugs? Like, Guess who's the biggest drug producer? The government. Our government. You know why we're protecting Afghanistan? Because we are protecting the poppy fields over there. Our own government is in the drug business. Yes. So you think about that. I will. And they make up a lot of crap. Don't believe all these shootings and stuff. It's all crap. No, you offensive? And that's, you know what, that, that word offensive? You can't say anything that's offensive? Really? Guess what? The truth yeah. is offensive. I, you can. I'm not the saying. truth is offensive, isn't it? Can I say something without being interrupted by you? I think oh, now funny. you're getting offensive. I'm saying that if people are dying, I think it's a little insensitive to say shooting or real. Well, what if they're not dying and what if the government is lying to us? Um, Hi, honey, can you, excuse me one second. What do you got? Hello? 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 Crap. Shit. Oh, crap. I just lost it. Where's my fucking phone? Yes, Jacqueline. I'm out on the street here. Can you just make it quick? Listen, if, if I can pay that with a credit card, that would be good. Can I do that somehow? Will you please check into it and then text me? Thank you. Bye. I would have let you know that I was coming today. It's just hard when the weather's bad. 
you know, I did call yesterday and tried to get an indoor spot, but they didn't accommodate me. So I just had to come when I could. So do we have another question or anything? No, I just wanted to revisit our conversation. Okay. Well, you know, the horizon is always at your eye level, no matter how high you go. No, no, I don't want to talk science. I want to talk about that shooting. Oh, you want to talk about shooting stuff. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know, that's not really the focus of my thing here. I know, but you said it, so but once you up. once you research this and you know they're lying about this. But you don't want to follow up with what I asked you. I'm not gonna ask uh, I'm not gonna get into specific things about well, that. You shouldn't say stuff that I'm, I'm gonna say tell you no, I can say whatever I wanna say say, and I'm gonna say what I wanna say. And you can just accept it or not. Where's your okay? response for me? Like? I don't care. See? I'm I'm telling you about the flat earth. If you know the the earth is flat. Then you'll look into everything else. That's what this is about. I missed why you said that all the wars were fake. Yeah. Okay. okay. About that. The Antarctic yeah. Treaty. Shootings are fake. The yeah. Antarctic Treaty. Well, if you look into it, did you ever study 9-11? Did you ever study it? I spent at least 20 hours on 9-11. Because I couldn't believe our government would do anything yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay? So you just wise up. What do you think about Okay. It was all orchestrated. It was a real life drama and people died. But innocent people died. Yeah, but it wasn't from goat herders flying planes. So you gotta look into it. Look up justification. Dr. Judy Wood, justification. That'll explain to you why those buildings came down in dust. I did I did research that. Yeah? Did you look up justification? Dr. Judy Wood. Look that one up. Okay, so why are there no wars? Look up the Antarctic Treaty. And when Admiral Byrd... What about people that were in the wars? Are they lying? <sighs> like my grandfather who was involved in Vietnam, was he lying about it? The soldiers have no idea what the upper people are telling them is true or not. They believe their government, and this is why I'm telling you to not believe your government so you're not sent off to die for something that's not real. That's so, what okay, love is, so you're okay? The, war, the wars, but the reasoning behind them were not. People actually went and shot guns. I'm not denying that. But the reason why they were told and went. Okay, so you're not denying that there were wars. You're just saying that no, I, I never said war. that. I said there wasn't a real war. A real war, like for, for the purpose that they said it but was. there were people killing each other. Yes. So it was of a war, course there but were. it wasn't for the reason that we thought it was, is what you're the saying? The soldiers, the soldiers are different. I'm, to, I'm just trying to understand. They were fights. They're pawns. They're pawns. The soldiers are pawns. I understand. Michael New. Did you ever hear about Michael New? He, they wanted him to put on the United Nations armband, and he said, no, I will not. And they court-martialed him. He was the only guy who did anything right because he had a brain, and he thought for himself. They want us to all be under the United Nations, and we should never, ever do that. Ever. So you asked about the Antarctic Treaty. That's what I'm telling you is the reason when uh, Admiral Byrd went out to uh, explore Antarctica, he found something there. And they immediately closed it off. The Antarctic Treaty closes off Antarctica. You cannot go there unless you pay thousands of dollars and they hold your hand and escort you around. And that is true. So if you want to know what they're hiding in Antarctica, I think it's the edge of the dome. They found that. I come to accept it. Admiral Byrd. Just like lost many airplanes down there at least a dozen airplanes they kept crashing into something they couldn't see no way it's nighttime so it's look into cool. this so it's a dome yeah look up lightning sprites and all the stars are fixed into the dome they're fixed because this right there star trails you know what that is if you open your aperture to your camera in the old cameras there is aperture right and you fix it on pole aris pole star above north pole you will get these concentric circles they are the stars and they're turning above us that's what that is you know what they teach us in the schools that they teach us that the sun is moving the milky way is moving and all the planets are trying to catch up and they're moving. It adds up to about a million miles an hour, all that speed, and we don't feel it. 
But you think that would come from that? Not me, sister. You're right. So I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. How'd you get in there? Two and a half years ago, somebody told me, oh, did you hear them, that some people say the moon landing was fake? I said, what? You're kidding me. Well, yeah, that was a big deal. So I looked into it, and I said, crap, this is not real. Maybe they didn't is. land on the moon. How about this I mean, Sputnik? The, the, the She's not saying I'm telling you. They're all the same. Ever since the Antarctic Treaty, they are all the same. If you look at the logos for all of the world uh, space organizations, they all have the vector. The vector, the red vector is what we think is the tongue of the snake. It's just, it could be just a funny little thing, I don't know, but they all have that red vector. So they're all the same. They all feed off each other. This is what's on NASA website. Now you tell me what's different about those two pictures. Why? why no, 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 no. One step at a time. What's different about these two pictures? Why are we yelling? Once, one thing. Tell me. What's different? I want to believe. I don't want to. I don't want to. Can you see the difference? What's this? That's the United States. Right here's the United States. Can that happen? Can that happen? This is the same diameter. You can't have proportionately different sizes of the United States. Could they be farther away? Not like with the same stuff. diameter. The diameter yeah, would be smaller. That's right on NASA's website. You look that up. So what, why do you think that, oh, that NASA is trying to get us to think yeah. that the Earth is round? This is, this is well, the, what would, would it benefit? Well, they want us to believe that there's an outer space so they because, can, you know, we like think, age. this is our thing, that we think they want to fake hey, an I'm alien invasion. Actually, I did. So they have to say that there's an outer space. So these aliens could come from somewhere. That's the only thing we can come up with. You have to figure these things out for yourself. I can't tell you, you know, don't believe that. I'm just saying, this is what we come up with. No, because, yeah, I'm just wondering why this huge conspiracy to have everyone. Well, the kings did not want the servants to not. read. The kings did not want the serfs okay, to read. Do you know that? Well, I, I no, know but that. she didn't hear it, so no, give I her heard it. I respect. Was here I did hear you. Um, okay, so it's because the educated people who know the truth are hard to control. When you know the truth, then you stand on the rock and you stand on the truth, and you are an immovable object, and you'll say no. But if you're on a lie, you can't back it up. You have nothing to stand so this on. This has been. Since the beginning, Years. they were planning Years. to figure out about an alien yes, invasion, it's, and this has been ongoing. This is not one guy. But this is an organization. So when are they planning? Like, it's yeah, a, it's going to be far in the future. There's like oh, six, six, six awesome. there are 13 so bloodlines. They came from all the kings and everything. They wanted to stay in okay. power. Okay. So they had to come up uh, with all this. I feel more like the government's trying to make us think there aren't, there's there's no there way. aren't there's any no aliens way. than they are. Oh, really? I mean... I don't know why you come up with that. No, no, just wait. As long as there's a planet, why are we going to Mars? Why are we going all those other places? We're not doing that, actually. If you really look into it, you can't go there. We can't land on the moon. You can see right through the frickin' moon. Does anybody see where the moon is right now? Okay, if it was really a shadow on the backside of the moon, it wouldn't be blue, and it's blue in the daytime. And at nighttime, when it's black, you can see light through it. There's little stars and things they can identify through it. I think it's a filament. Okay, I have one question. You don't believe in shootings? I don't believe that. And what? Shootings? I don't believe in the shootings? But you, there's there's people dead. They show Okay. All okay. right. Okay. I, I'm Continue. not going to say this. I, I'm going to say this. Okay, I think okay. there's a lot of questions to be raised about all those things. Okay, I have one question. If they will lie to you about the, the land that you're standing on, they will lie about anything. But I have one question. Can you tell that to the families that lost their kids? Because yeah! Uh, I mean, oh, I'm sorry, I'm I mean, I'm just thinking about that. Yeah, just think about that. <laughs> families, the moms and the dads that were sad about that. So can you tell that yeah. to the, like, can you tell that they were faking? Were, were, was that fake? Their grief was fake? Did you ever look into this? Yes, actually, because our school actually did it. Like, our high school, we actually did a memorial for them. Oh, no, no, you didn't look into it with a critical eye. You did a memorial. You did a memorial. You did a memorial. Your eyes are wrong. So you're denying all the death. Your eyes are flat. No, I'm not. You just said they're not. No. No, I'm saying that some people died in 9-11. I know that. I'm not talking about 9-11. I'm talking about shooting. Stop changing. Well, you know what? 
don't snap off to me, little girl, because oh, 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 I am here oh, 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 on you? this oh, oh, subject. Oh, I'm here on this you subject, no and I'm not going to go in there with you. Here. Not going to go into that with you. Oh, sure. Get your conspiracy banner over there, and you preach what you want. I have better things to do, like go to school, work a job. What yeah, doing? yeah, I do that too. I did it. I'm 63 years old. You look good for your age. Thank you, dear. But I'm out here because I love humanity, and I want them to know the you truth. Love humanity. Because I know not all those people died. I know that. So what is, what is your theory on, on the shootings? I must ask. No, I'm not doing that. You want to talk about shootings, go away. I'm saying, I'm saying, look, if this, if this, if they will lie about the ground that you stand on, they'll lie about anything. So you have okay, to decide for yourself. So if they're lying, is there what truth? Did you that? know that the horizon is always at your eye level, no matter how high you go? Oh, no. It was oh, always at your eye level. Go on top of Mount Everest, and it's at your eye level. That proves that there are two planes coming together, and it never curves down. At some point, when you are getting high on this ball, above the ball, it has to go down, and it's not going down. Okay, so you have to figure these things out. Does anybody have a question on the banners only? I don't, I'm trying to listen, but my questions are getting curved. You can't look yeah, past curved. the horizon because you're, you are correct. Like the it's seen as two planes connected. But it's not actually, the bottom plane is not a plane, it's actually parabola. And so what you're seeing is the bottom curves when you go high and Okay, so, so if the... Can I just know, you can see that from airplanes. No, you can't. Yeah, I have been in airplanes. Okay, go ahead. Finish your question. Basically, is that your question? Yeah. Why don't you? Believe okay. That's a problem? Okay. So when you look at at the horizon, you see this way. You see this. That is your field of vision. That's how far you can see in all directions, right? Okay. That's your personal horizon. If I could see ten miles further than you, my horizon would be bigger. Okay. So your personal horizon is curved, and you say, that must be the curve of the earth, because when you were five years old, there was a globe on your teacher's desk. So in your mind, you have to make everything fit the globe. And if you don't, then you're not building on your own foundation, and it makes you feel insecure. I understand that, okay? But it would not rise to your eye level if it were curving down at all. Okay, we're doing tests even down at Lake Pontchartrain uh, on the bridge and all to see if it's level. You got to be able to see it both ways. If you're on top of this globe, you're on top of the world. Everywhere you stand, everything has to go down from there. No matter where you are, say you're here. You're on top of the world. Everything has to go down from there. Think of that. I'm up on top of the world. Do you know that song? The why don't planes all fly in the same direction? They don't. There's a lot of questions about the planes. Look at this down here. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, no. I have one on the airplanes. Where is it? Where's the airplane thing? All the airplanes have to go above the equator in order to go back down. We have information on that. And I'm, I guess I don't have one on here about that. Every pilot then have to be part of the conspiracy? Pilots are, some of them know it and, and keep their mouth shut because of they are going to lose their job. People know things and they don't say anything because they got a nice job. Where? The 143 because I see airplanes. I don't know if that's what you were looking for. Uh, no, there is one about about the flights oh. where they have to go north to go south so, so now i don't guess i don't have it on here but it's on this uh, video it's on the video so look that up you don't believe that a pilot would give up their job no where they make like twenty-seven thousand dollars a year but edward snowden who worked for the nsa lost like a hundred thousand dollar a year job to tell us about it's all a leave. personal conviction if you are loving Wait, your job Wait a minute, I didn't even get his stuff. So it's all a personal, you know, decision. You have to decide. You know, are you going to stand for truth or are you just going to go along to get along? And a lot of people don't want to rock the boat. Some people have been killed over this. Look up a guy named Bill Cooper. 
He was killed. Uh, I read all the cowboys. Yeah. So, so, people who talk and tell the truth, they say we live in a free country, you can say what you want. Nah. If you get too close, and you know, I had to make that decision coming out here and telling people about this. Now, now what about the hollow earth stuff? Now, if, because the earth I'm not teaching that. Oh, I'm no. not teaching that. Okay. I thought, okay. I just read that the, there's a new uh, flat earth theory that it's more like a donut shape. No, that's the torus field. And that's what I think is our electricity because because Tesla wanted to give us free electricity. And JP Morgan, the greedy SOB, said, where do we put the meter? We could all be having free electricity. But the rich guys said, no, I want to charge everybody for something I can get for free. And they also say that oil is a renewable resource. Oil, oil is a renewable resource. Gasoline should only be costing the cost of the price, uh, the processing. Gasoline is not renewable. So when did it uh, Oil. Oil. You don't know that. I, I've heard that, and I think there's something to it. <laughs> Can you explain to me then why it's renewable? Well, we didn't seem to run out. You know all the threats that they gave? Oh, we had those long... You don't know that. I was born in 55. What, what year were you born? 1995. Okay. So you don't know about this. But back in the 70s, there were long lines of people waiting to buy gas, gasoline for their car. It was 17 cents a gallon. I remember that. I was like 14. So uh, these things, they do on purpose. That was all a hoax to get us to accept higher gas prices. Did we ever run out of oil? How long ago was that? We never frickin' ran out of oil. That's all a lie. You don't ever run out of oil. You know how long we've been using oil? We never ran out. That's because there's a lot of it. There's a lot of oil. Well, we haven't run out yet, and yet they're saying that, oh, we got to, you know. Wait a minute. Where is the oil? So why did they discover that? Why did they come up with the Well, it's not... I don't think she's uh, the flat earth has been around forever, but the, uh, the Roman Catholic Church really is in on this. There's three city-states in the world. Did you know that? The Vatican and London, which is inside the city of London, that's separate from London proper, and Washington, D.C. So Washington, D.C. is military, London is financial, and the Vatican is the religious end of it, which they, I think they want the Pope to have negotiations with these aliens or whatever. And I think that's all like part of that thing. Wait, so when the astronauts go out, how do they get... Did like, you ever see the movie called Capricorn One? No, but when the astronauts go out, they... Okay, did you ever see, did you see when they came back from landing on the moon and stepping out on the moon, did you see the press conference? I thought that was it was it was all bs they were they were disgraced because they knew they they were lying to everybody so they never went out to space if you no they never so did they never they, landed on the moon how they made that image like the video yeah, okay didn't do it. so well i, I know a lot about film making special effects you don't so, she so said forget it <laughs> I mean, I mean, She's you, you cute. Can tell. It's, it's not. But, but I mean, just that particular thing. You don't know. You I'm telling tell. you. I know a lot. I've, I've well, I don't. A lot of movies you can do that. Movies. If you can say what you want to say, and I'm saying that we never landed on the moon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you know. But people went out to space. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm just she talking, think I'm just talking about Stanley Kubrick. No. No, they, they didn't. So where are the stars so and all the... No, the stars are just what? Uh, Lights. Light. They yeah. are points of light. And if you can imagine, here's so the... Saturn, uh, Mars, Venus. No, don't They're wandering the planets. So the, only, the, only got the name also, planet within the last so hundred years. The, the planets are just <laughs> points of light. So the sun is not a planet. The it's sun... 9.3 miles away from where we are. Uh, that's, that's my personal oh. guess. What's not, the, what's, you think what's so? The theory of yes. The, uh, look. I look. It was like feel that oh, and go like that. You feel a difference? It's because the sun's huge. Yes, and even from sunrise... No, it's not huge. It's close. And from sunrise, it increases and it decreases. And the seasons are caused by a 23.4 degree tilt. I mean, that doesn't make any sense at all. Just because, look, and they say the seasons direct rays, direct rays, right? 
Okay, here we got this globe, and you tilt it's it this better. way, and it's going to give us wind. Excuse me. That's a globe. You, you tilt it 23 degrees, and it's it's giving us winter. You tilt it the other way, and it gives us summer, right? You just said the earth like that? Work. Like that? That's winter and summer? It's a globe. It's alive. The it's tilt, like the shooting. Damn that's it. not how the tilt moves. Yeah, it is. Wait, no, the tilt okay. stays in place and we rotate around the tilt. The tilt doesn't move. I understand that. I understand. So it goes like this, it goes like this. I understand that. But that's what they're saying, in effect. So, so when, where's the centrifugal force? We spin a thousand miles an hour at the equator. Where's the centrifugal force? We don't have any. When you're in a car, if you hit a big enough curve, you don't feel anything. Yes, you do. Not on a big enough yes, you do. Curve. Yes, you do. You always feel it. When you take a turn, you always feel it. As we were kids, your side, and we all like lean over. Yep. Your centripetal force. You feel the pressure down, not the pressure in. I guarantee you're traveling a thousand miles an hour. You're going to feel it. You go five miles an hour, you might not feel it. So why am I in an airplane going like 500 and I don't feel anything? Because when they turn, they bank. A plane will bank to turn. I'm not even talking about turning. I'm talking about just going straight. You don't feel it? Fine. Because it's enclosed. It's enclosed. But according to your theory, isn't the flat Earth enclosed? Yeah, the Earth is enclosed. So, but according to your ball, it's not. The atmosphere keeps it enclosed. That's what you think. So how do you have a pressurized atmosphere next to a vacuum, which is no pressure, without a physical barrier? That can't happen. Gravity is what pulls the no. atmosphere down. No, it has to be a physical barrier. Are you a scientist? Yes, it does. I've studied this. How, how do you know the Earth is? Why, how do you know the sun is so close? Like, like what? I agree. Maybe Look, that's my personal theory on yeah, how like close it is. I can't uh, prove it. So that's Some people like say three thousand miles. Some people say, but I liked. I think it's nine nine point three. You know why? Because whenever the government wants to fool you, they add million to it. They add the, the word million. So they say it's 93 million. Well, maybe it's 93 miles. I don't know. I just, I think it's a lot closer. So, we've shot rockets up. And they How far? Back. How far? What time is class? I mean, into space. Like, Did you ever see when they go up? Here, I think I got a picture of that. What I'm going to ask is where do they go? Here. The rockets go up. They always turn. And then they cut the shot off. You never see it go. Totally. I've they been in Florida and watched a shuttle go up. Yeah, and where did it go? Straight. No. Yes. Maybe as far as you could see. Was it cloudy? No. It was a beautiful day. Okay, good. I'm happy for you. But I think it all goes this way because we, so we got a lot of videos like this. Well, he can disagree and nobody when, can prove anything. Can she get a pamphlet? Sure. When you can't shuttle, prove. Is you know. So when something's in space for several days... It, it's just up in the air. For I don't think it, it happens. I don't think it happens. Well, where does it go then? I think that <laughs> once in a while they'll put a, a satellite on a balloon and put it up there just to take pictures and say, <laughs> <laughs> and say, look, you know, we got satellites up there. The bees I'm listening. Talking about, like, bees, the, I'm sweet. That's why. The, the trip to the moon took, I believe, 11 days, if I remember correctly. Um, in those 11 days... 238,000 miles away, right? Where did the rocket go? Huh? Where did the rocket go for those 11 days? Well, we think every time the government doesn't want you to go there, they say it's scary. So guess where all these are landing? Bermuda Triangle. What's scary about the things disappear. That was made up. Come on, come on. That was a transport that's been sold books. I've got a question. Okay. So, if the sun's that close to our Earth, then do planes, why don't planes burn out? We have, okay, well, it's not as massive and, and powerful as they say. If it's a lot closer, it doesn't have to be. And it's not burning gases. It's, I believe it's a filament. And it's different. It's a different thing. It's a different light than what they say it is. So you, I know it's like Where's the heat? You're, te you're, you're talking two different languages here and you have to like make the transition from one to the other. And it's really hard. And I know it's a hard thing to do. OK, it takes weeks, months for people to really like understand and grasp the idea.
but you won't get it all today. You will not get this all today. Well, so what's the theory that the sun is small enough that the planes can just fly? We have a video of a plane looking, looking down on dark clouds and seeing the circle of the sun in the clouds. So, the plane so we have a video of that, and I'm there, well, now, if it's that close, it's got to be close. So I don't know for sure. I can't prove it. But I have that picture in my mind, and I'm thinking it's really close. Okay, so you got to look at everything and decide what you're going to believe for your life. So I'm going to believe this. Sun, that's not really the sun. No, no, this? Yeah. Oh, that's that's the uh, globe that's, model. That's, that's this thing. model. Yeah, I have a lot of comparison pictures up here so you can see the difference. Like, this is what they're teaching us in the schools. That's what they teach us. Everything is moving, and it's going through this vast universe, right? So then how do you get star trails? How do you get that from that? I don't see it. I cannot see it. I do not accept that. I don't understand, though, why you don't... This is Star Trails. You know how you get that? Mm -hmm. Mr. Cameraman, tell me how you get that. <laughs> um, I, uh, the, um, yeah, the exposure, does that explode? You leave your aperture yeah, open yeah, and yeah. point it at yeah. Pole Laris, Pole Star, above the North Pole. Mm -hmm. And you get concentric circles. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, okay. And the stars moving. Yeah, and that has been for how long? How long do you think that's been in existence? Since they've been, had film? Since the beginning of time. Time. Oh, I thought you meant like the act of... Since the beginning of time. Yeah. Do you know how how the sailors used to navigate the waters? They look at the stars. They don't change. So this is what happens. They teach us that in the schools. How do you think... Don't you think people would have gotten lost on the ocean going that, following that freaking thing? No, you can believe what you want, darling. I am not doing that. Oh. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not following that garbage. Well, like Orion, you said, Orion is very common in our, like I believe, um, spring, if right? I remember correctly. Whereas, like I think, yeah. Okay, the Big Dipper will will change. No, the, I, change. the Big Dipper will change as far as it will shift from one part to the next. On, on each season, it will be at a different side. Yes. Let's say that, okay? That is correct. Okay, so that's how they change. But in relation to each other, they don't. They are relatively fixed to each other in that position. They don't, like, parallax. They don't parallax. Parallax means... Like when you go down, when you go, no, you can't really learn truth in college. You have to go and study it for yourself. So parallax is, hold, will you hold your arm out? Hold your arm out. Okay, now there's something here and there's something here. Now look, when I look at her arm, this is on the right side. But when I go past it, now this is on the left side. See, when I look at it. Okay, there's no, you can put down, thank you. There's no parallax like that. There's none of that. If I every day at night and looked up, the constellations would change. If you, if you watch the constellations, they would change. They would change. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. How would they change? the same spot every single day. No, no, it's not the same spot. It's that the same relationship to each other. They are not in parallax. How do you account for their movement? That's easy. Move. Yes, it so, turns. <laughs> it turns. Oh my God. <laughs> you look up. I get one of them every time I t come out somewhere. That's all right. Yeah, but they. No, they don't. But why are they saying they're not in your in your globe in your globe theory they don't do anything like that right? But in this in this no you don't do that no. <laughs> I don't believe that you ever did that. Yes, I do. I look at the constellations all the time. So, if so I'm understanding they're no is longer correct, in the same spot. The disc spot. itself is doing this. Correct. Did you go to college? Okay. Yes. Uh, long time. Okay. Probably be. Well, no, you were probably older. No, but I'm look. Too, I'm okay. Too I'm sixty. <laughs> you were born in ninety-three. Yeah, I'm only I was born in fifty-five. In fifty-five, you be my mom's age. I'm sixty-three. So look, oh, this is. 
This, we never landed on the moon. <laughs> this is an upside down glass bowl. Think of it that way. And all the stars are put in there, glued on, and the glass bowl is turning. That's our model. Why aren't they okay. saying this on the news, though? Why would they do that? If they did that, then you would know, and you would be smart. So then how did you know? No, because hey, look. Don't know this, we are not smart. Because I started, I started right here, actually. You discovered this. No, not me by myself. <laughs> you never heard of this? This is the hottest topic on the internet. There you are thousands of people worldwide. I thought that video I've heard of people thinking, but I'm saying... No, like, no, this is why I'm I here. Because you don't know. You start right there, and you'll start to understand I didn't this. know that. believe everything you see on the internet. No, that's why I studied it. Two and a half years ago, I studied this. Now, look. What's the difference between being educated with lies or being uneducated? No, I went down to the seashore, and I was in Wildwood, and I was looking for the water towers, because when we go to Ocean City, I took my telescope down there, and I wanted to see. And darned if I couldn't see all the way to Wildwood from Atlantic City. 32.6 miles away. That should be 681 feet of curvature that's missing. That's why I'm here. Where does the disc exist? Right? Where does the disc <laughs> exist? If space doesn't exist, map, where is the disc? Even on a flat surface, <laughs> where do we exist? The, the planet itself. Are you talking it's the flat street. plane? Yeah. No I don't know what's underneath of it. Like, I don't know where we're sitting on. They say in ancient writings that there's water above and water below. Oh, isn't that? That's uh, what the ancient writings say, okay? I don't know further than the coast of Antarctica, and I'm not going to just speculate. That's okay. for you to decide, okay? I just know we live on a flat plane. All water is flat. All the oceans are flat with each other. They do not curve. There is nowhere water can stick to the outside, of, especially of a spinning ball. Okay. So gravity doesn't yeah, exist. Yeah, that's because that's well, because you don't believe in gravity. If you figure this out and you still look into this, then you'll start figuring out what they're lying about and why they're lying. But, 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 if I tell you, that's just going to be a, a joke to you. I thought it but see, okay. pardon? But I'm just trying I to thought understand. you said they're lying because <laughs> they want to fake it. Yes, I think that's why. And when there was three people here, I could go into that. But when there's more than that, I don't want a big deal. So, yeah, they want, to, they want to unite the whole world in a one-world government. And in order to do that, they have to have a common enemy. So they're going to come up with something. Yeah, but they believed in a round earth way before there was one even a possibility of that happening. They believed in that prior to them even discovering America. They just sort of discovered that. That's going back for thousands of years ago when they just talked about this as being a test before they had any agenda possible to say they want to have a one world. Well, first off, it can't be so thousands. Can't use that argument as a reason for believing in it because they were talking about Are you going to preach to me or do you want me to answer your question? Yeah, but I'm saying you're using an argument. Okay, I will, I will answer your question. First off, Copernicus came up with this 500 years ago, not thousands. They do. All right, then we can't talk about it. Because you are going to just debate and argue with me, and I'm not here to do that. I am only here to give information so anybody looks this up and decides for themselves. I'm not going to debate you. Okay, so 500 years ago, what was the point of believing in a, a flat Earth versus a round Earth? Or what would have been the reason to believe? What else happened 500 years ago? Oh, let's see, it was 19, uh, 17, 16. When, when was the printing press? When did Gutenberg come out with his printing press? 16 something? Yeah, I think it was too. I heard this yesterday that this is also, they said 500, but I don't think it was 500. They, they can put a lot of stuff into textbooks to try and disguise it. But I think it was when Gutenberg brought out the printing press, the kings knew that the serfs were going to read and they were going to find out a lot of stuff. So the, the church had to come up with something to offset that so they could stay in control and power. This is all about power and control, guys. All about power and control. But there's no advantage to believing in a round earth versus I'd like to Did you get one of these? Oh, I, have, oh, I have lots of friends on Facebook. I love arguing with them. Okay, well then, did you ever watch the 200 proofs video? No, they Did you ever? No, no. Did you ever watch I only, it? I never watched the whole thing. Do it. Just do it. All right. Well, then don't stand here and try to mock me. Anybody? I'm good. You can look into it yourself. I'm not going to...
tell you what to do, but look oh, into thanks. it yourself. Thanks a lot. Do you start right there where it says begin? Uh, okay, like come to the Raven Lounge. <laughs> well, you have to just know, look into things, study it. You know, be aware of what's going on around you. You know, that's what I want you to do, is to think. Use your brains. Don't just accept when people say things. Don't just accept it. Sure. Okay. Why do you care if it's flat around? It's about truth. It's about the lie. I don't want me to be lied to. I don't want anybody else to be lied to. Because if you don't have the truth, you stand on nothing. That's what I say right here. I made that whole thing up there. If you don't, what's the difference between being educated with lies or being uneducated? If we only believe lies, then we're not uneducated. Do you understand that? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm doing this. I want people to know the truth. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Marilyn is my name. I have to go to class. So. Have a good day. Like, if you look at it, like, they, they go up a curb. Yeah, it makes sense because they're going into an orbit. So I think you're thinking. I think you're. That's good. I appreciate. I think you're thinking. That's what I want. I want people to think, and that's good. When you're standing and thinking, that's good. I'm all for that. So what's your problem? I'll hire you. It's a crazy idea. So you're not even going to think about it. But you like the entertainment, right? Change it up a little bit. Make it sound like it's an extra interesting. Let me get your info, actually. Okay. Yeah, it takes a lot of love, and I have to realize that people are going to be resisting this, and they're going to mock me, and it doesn't matter to me, because the love of truth is more important. See? You have to love more than, than be hurt. You can't, you can't take it in. Okay. But it's something that like popped in my mind when you're talking about it. So you know how when you go to Antarctica, they have to like escort you around. Yeah. Do you know there's anything like sketchy going on in like North Korea? Why they have to escort you around? Because that like that reminded me of that. Well, you know, before the Antarctic Treaty, we were all like sovereign countries. But ever since then we have kind of been melding into one world government mm -hmm. and uh and i think they found something the dome the edge of the dome is one the other thing is they talk i heard that this i heard this theory they found something that they were trying to uncover in the ice did you know about giants in the ancient times yeah. i think they may have found one and they're trying to melt the ice to get them out and those giants were told to be two miles tall. Oh, I didn't know that. So that would that be thing. a lot of ice. Yeah. 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 I've never heard this. And did you ever think about uh, Devil's Tower? Do you, ever, do you know what that is? No. There's these, uh, it's a mesa, a ge geologic mesa. It's flat on the top. It's a mountain that goes up and flat on the top. Oh, like a flat toe thing? Yeah, yeah. Ancient tree stumps. Trees were that big. They, there was a tree in an ancient writing, the Bible, I'll say it, that was the tree of life in the center. And that was probably the North Pole that reached way up that the whole earth could see it. And that you can't just like ignore that stuff. Why would they say something crazy? Were they all on high on marijuana? I mean, so all these things taken, put them in your mind and say, well, if I hear about that again, I'll know, you know. Just look into this stuff. It's awesome. Well, it was it's awesome. Thank you. I'm so it glad. My mind to a Thank lot of you. Things. you know, I'm and you have an open mind, uh -huh. so that's There's good. Things, you know, like the uh, moon landing and I that already, like, Yeah. Cool. So and I've you know. So send a message to this little. Okay. I'm on here. You can. Look. Thank you, dear. Do you have a question? Here. Here you go, honey. If it was nine miles, it'd be bigger than that. I, I don't understand. Why do you... You can't ask a question. You really think the Earth is flat? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Why? Okay, because there's a curvature formula. If there is a ball, it has to have a formula for how far out it goes, you have to drop. Okay, so we have spherical geometry that says the, the formula is 8 inches times the miles squared. Now, 3 miles, you'd have 6 feet of curvature. 10 miles, there's 66.6. .6. That's what they say this is. 
Okay, so I should be able to see that somewhere. If it really is a globe, I should find curvature. I have not found any curvature. I watched a ship well, disappear over the horizon. That you're disproving thousands of years no, of no, you're spherical wrong. geometry. No, you're wrong. And you have the wrong facts. You've been reading the wrong books. I have to go to class, but I hope you Thank have a you. nice day. Thank you, you too. <laughs> Everybody can look this up for themselves. I'm interested. Thank you. Look this up for yourself. You can look this up. But still, I, I want to know your, your methods, your research. What is it you're doing to you can look this up. Uh, look this up. prove the history of science? Ask me. No, no, that's too general of a question. Ask me something specific. Look at that and tell me to explain something or give you, you know, give me a good question. That's and? not a question. I'm not going into the history of anything. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, so you don't believe anybody is in Antarctica? Oh, there's lots of people down in Antarctica. This is coming from a different angle. Okay. All like Secret Service kind of people. No, one of my friends is down there right now. That's good. As a firefighter. Okay. How, so, how far do they let him go? Well, she's on the base, so she's around the local area there. Okay, so they can tell her anything and she'll believe it. Wait, so how far away is the front? Oh, look at that. Thank you. Did somebody do that? Mm. Thank you. Okay, so right here. Gravity changes. You're saying that the sun and the moon are in a circular orbit above the flat earth. They go like this. Yes, above the earth, like this. Wait, how far is the sun? Well, I think it's very close. How is it that the sun is still shining then if it's in a circular orbit? It can shine. And it can it can only illuminate part of the Earth's surface, but and I then it moves. I understand the theory here, okay? And it moves but around. 